Whoa, this is crazy. My skill's going up super fast. This video is sponsored by G-Portal. They host all of my servers and I have to say they are pretty awesome. You can save 10% with my link in the description. Subscribe for more Valheim. Hey everyone, I'm here with Kondo. He's an engineer on my server. Likes to build all kinds of cool spawners and trainers and he built a blocking trainer the ultimate blocking trainer one might say and to do this you're going to want to have some armor on but specifically you're going to want to have the root harness because it has resistance to pierce but more importantly for block training you're going to want a serpent scale shield at max level because it's resistant to pierce and you'll last a lot longer when you do all this stuff and uh, so you get yourself a bunch of archer skeletons all in a group and you're going to come out here. Check that out. Boom! Already 21. Oop, got hit. I'll time you for... I'm going to show the audience too what, what happens if I miss a volley and get shot. See that? 85 down to 73. It's because the root harness has resistance to pierce. And how, how many skeletons do you reckon you got in here, Kondo? Uh, roughly about 50. 50 skeletons, and they, they only took away, what, 12 points of damage with one full volley? And if your skeletons aren't synchronized all shooting at the same time, what you can do is just go around the corner and listen for the little bones. Right there. Do you hear the bones? Then you come back. And then most likely they'll be synchronized. And you can reset that a couple times if you need to. And if I let off my block in between shots, I'll get more stamina back quicker. So level, I started at level 20. I'm already level 29. And that's just, just a few seconds. But so if I'm at level 20 condo and I, and I do this, you said uh, about how long you think it would take for me to max out to 100? Roughly half an hour, about 29 minutes. I think we timed it. Okay, so um, what are some of the tips uh, for skeletons? You, I notice you've got uh, stairs there at their feet and stone, uh, uh, the stone floors uh, above uh, their heads. Why those pieces and not any other piece uh, there for them? Well, I um, sort of by chance found out that they didn't uh, attack stone stairs or normal stairs. And they attacked every other build piece bar the um, stone floor pieces. So I thought I'd just use those and see how they went. And they don't attack them. So stone floors and, st and stone stairs, do they attack? They don't attack regular stairs either, correct? No, not the wooden stairs. But they'll attack almost any other piece, huh? Correct, yeah. So stairs and the stone floor. Down. If we place a a wall or something in there, okay. I, let me do that. Uh, just like that. Oh, yep. They immediately start shooting it <laughs> and break it. So, uh, yeah, that's a that's probably the best discovery for this trainer is that they won't attack the floor or stairs, and so you can use that to block them in. Wait till the devs find out. Jonathan will probably change that <laughs> when he watches my video. Okay, Kondo's going to show us how he builds his ultimate block trainer. So how far down do you dig? Well, you need to have at least two blocks high or two meters for him to um, be underneath the stone. And how wide are you going to go? Looks like about four meters. That's it. Oh, yeah, four meters, yeah. But digging down here, it looks like you went about, uh, what, eight eight meters? No, four, yeah, eight mm -hmm. meters down? Yeah. Uh, the good thing about um, when you go two meters wide, when you do your hoe, and you can get a lot flatter, a lot easier. Right. So you're just leveling the ground around the outside so it looks pretty? Pretty much. Oh, it helps um, set everything else up, too. And that little turn you put in there is going to be where people can hide to get their stamina back? So do you have to use stone floor here, or can it just be dirt? It can be dirt, but uh, they move a lot easier on the stone floor. And I've got a clip-in um, 
uh, the pieces to stop them from um, coming out. It's easier with stone. So that section where you just built the uh, roof, that's going to be where the skeletons are? Yep. They'll be in, underneath it, inside it. So, so why do they need a roof? Why can't, why can't it just be open to the air? So they don't stack on top of each other. They stack on top of each other, they'll um, end up hitting the roof. Mm, they'll end up shooting it. Good to know. So you use two beams there to decide the, uh, or to clip into, to get the exact height for the stairs. Is that what you did? Yep. And then the stairs just, you clipped them into the top. So that's all you need, really, to get this thing that's running, it. correct? Yep. yep, that's it. Okay, now that you got your block trainer set up, you just need to get some archer skeletons. So we're going to follow Kondo down to the swamps. If you uh, get lucky and you can find a spawning area for the skeletons, they're at these grave sites here in the swamp. Then you'll find two Draugr spawners and a skeleton spawner. Now the uh, Draugr spawners, they also spawn uh, Draugr archers, but Kondo recommends that we don't use the Draugr archers. And why is that, Kondo? Um, Draugr archers are a lot more damage from the arrows. So the when you have 50 skeletons in a pit, it's uh, easier to use skeletons than the damage from the Draugrs. You want your block trainer to be really effective, you'll use only ar skeleton archers. And, correct. And even the starred skeletons don't hit very hard, is that correct? No, once you... Um, Get the skeletons into the spawn you'll see that they roughly do about 10 damage each it looks like you've got two following you i have got two keep going up the hill they should follow me kondo's built the uh block trainer near uh in, in the meadows near the swamp spawner if you can find one like that near near meadows because meadows a little safer you don't have to deal with black forest or plains or anything now you're going to push them in huh Push them in. They have no idea what they're in for. A lifetime of servitude. Oh, there you go. Two skellies already. So technically, this uh, trainer is uh, ready to go. Ready to go. You could start training right now. Could you show us? Switch to your serpent shield and your root harness if you have it. And there you go, your block training. So he's got two in here. And if he, he repeats that because the uh, spawner is still alive down there, make sure you don't destroy your skeleton spawner, your bone pile. I'll show you how to protect your spawner. Gotta get it up higher, that's all. And probably raise ground. So you're raising the ground around the spawner? Yep, raise it around the spawner. And you want to completely bury the spawner? Yep, just bury it. So now you can't accidentally hit it, and they'll still spawn even though the uh, bone pile is yep. buried. So I've got a skeleton there. I'll get rid of this droga. And then you just lead them up. All right, so uh, repeat that process a bunch of times until you got yourself a whole bunch of skeletons. How many skeletons you recommend is a pretty good trainer about 20 of them yeah 20 to 30 um well 30 will get your skills up really quick obviously the more skeletons the quicker the 40 skeletons will double the rate of 20 skeletons if you got mods you can put armor on all of them and give them dragger fang bows they look really cool use uh jeer Kusala's server dev commands and world edit to do that and then you get yourself an ultimate block trainer you like viking stuff i like viking stuff well you should check out my sponsor the grimfrost they have thousands of modern and historical viking products so many cool things here on this website and just use my link in the description I'd like to give a huge shout out to my supporters, some of them on Patreon, the YouTube membership, and the ones who help boost our Discord server. Your support means the world to me and inspires me to make more videos, as well as run a community Discord and multiple Valheim gaming servers. If you enjoy my videos and would like to support my work, join our friendly Discord community and Valheim servers, links can be found in the description below. Skull.